Hi guys, welcome to Wendy's Show of Life. Um, today, I'm just doing a little video. I was in the kitchen and I decided just to make like a, a cake. And um, I said I'll put it, make it a little vlog. Um, and I was already like putting the frosting and stuff on. So I'm just going to let you guys... Um, watch this video of me just um, frosting the cake it was just something random that I was doing today and uh, I just decided to make a little uh, make a vanilla cake and right now I'm just putting the frosting on and uh What I'm doing now is just frosting the cake. I had it cooling off. I had it cooling off inside the um, the freezer. So that my icing won't melt once I put it on. And then I'll, because uh, it still, it seems a little warm still. I had it in there for 20 minutes, but it's still kind of warm. So, and then the icing, the icing is uh really uh, creamy. It's the um I want to show you guys. It's the uh, rich and creamy Manila icing. So, how you guys doing today? I'm just chilling on this rainy day. Um, nothing to do. I, like I said, I just decided to um, bake a cake on this rainy day. And, uh, I really haven't been buying that many, uh, sweet things for the house. So, I just decided to, um, to bake a, a cake. This cake will be gone in two days. Because <laughs> my kids, they like, uh, well, my son. He like when I uh, make uh, a chocolate or vanilla cake. And guys, I did this in like 25 minutes, baking this cake. It didn't take that long at all to, um, to bake it. I put it, um, I mixed the mix up, mixed it up and put it inside this aluminum pan and made one big uh, sheet cake. And sorry guys, I didn't get the whole footage of me um, mixing and everything. I just, this was like a random video that I decided to make. I just wanted to show you guys what I do on a daily. This is what I do, especially on a rainy day and it's bore, boring. I don't have nothing to do. I'll find something to do, believe me. <laughs> I just want to make sure I got all the looking crannies. I want to frost in everything. It's been raining here for the last uh, day or two. I guess we're getting part of that storm. Um, tropical storm that they were talking about. I know... Um, was it day before yesterday? Um, the Schuylkill River had risen a little bit. And it was floods on the streets. So, um, we did get a part of that storm. And the power, a lot of people, power went out. But um, the power didn't go out. 
where I'm at. So, um, but like a little further up, a lot of people lost power and stuff like that. But yeah, it's um, it's doing good for the flowers and if, like the flowers and stuff. We getting all this rain, so compared to those hot days that we had all last week, is it re we really needed that rain. So now, guys, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put the sprinkles on. I'm just going to set this aside. Set it right there. And um, here's the sprinkles. I'm just going to open the sprinkles up. This rainbow sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles. I'm just going to sprinkle it on. I love making cakes. They come out a little at a time. That's why I keep, if y'all keep seeing me, keep sprinkling, coming out a little bit at a time. There we go. I'm going to make sure I got them on the edges. So I'm just going to show you guys what it looked like. Here's my vanilla cake with um, sprinkles. I could use some more on that side there. Let me put a little bit more. So that's my finished finished touch on this cake. I don't need no more sp sprinkles on here, but here we go again. If you guys can see. So like I said, I was sitting here. I was so bored. No, can't go nowhere because it's raining. Also, with the um, pandemic rising again, there's nothing really you can do. I wanted to go back to the um, the lake again. We were going to go back because I didn't um, update you guys on um, the lake that I went to. I showed a video. Um, when we got there, it was, um, was kind of late because we did the safari first and then we I drove to the lake. So when we got there, everything was like booked up. Um, renting of the boats and everything was booked up we had to wait for a boat by the time we waited for a boat the park was almost closed and so that's why you got you didn't get that much footage of the um the lake but um we're thinking about going back but i looked on the website and uh they're saying like they had these type of uh bugs telling you to uh um to check your cars before leaving the park I think it's like um, some type of lantern, a spot, a spotted lantern um, bug. Um, they having like an outbreak of those type of bugs. They said they mess up the crops, the livestock, because out there they have a lot of farms surrounding that lake. It's a lot of farms um, 
and um you know people have like they um growing crops and then they the livestock which is the cows pigs chickens and everything up there because you could ride through the neighborhood that's near the lake and you'll see like random uh chickens just walking around on the streets and on the roads and everything because up there is like roads and um they were saying like uh make sure that you know you don't have any of those bugs like stuck to your car like look on your windshield look they were just saying just look all around your car and make sure you don't take those bugs back to where you live at because they're messing up the crops the livestock and they can mess up like flowers and all types of stuff they were saying so um i was kind of afraid to like go back because i'm like well what type of bugs are there and then my sister was saying we already had those um they already had those bugs up here they've been it's been an outbreak of those bugs um it's probably just really getting bad up there and um i think they're called again spotted um lantern something you can look it up guys um i've been looking it up to see what they're but they look kind of like um moths moths if i'm yeah moths and um when they open up their wings they're like red like in the inside of their wings is like red and um they're saying those things are hurting the crops and everything and i was like wow these little things hurting the crops and livestock and um i think they breed it in um uh, china and india i think that's where they're where they come from so i said well maybe they just came over here from like shipping different things and um they were attached to like the uh the cargo or something like that that's probably how they got here i say because they're saying they raised in a different country so uh i don't know but i do want to go back and um show you guys more of the lake it's so beautiful there it was quiet um yes they do have like the social distance there you had to wear a mask and everything um especially if you're close to like say if you're at a, a picnic table and then somebody's at a, a picnic table that's not too far from yours yes you do have to wear a mask but they're saying like um you know just to protect yourself and your family um wear a mask and that's what we did we did have on our mask in some part of the video you did you do see me like taking off my mask every once in a while that's because sometimes it's um like if i'm not near anybody I'll like take it off or um or like if I have to scratch my nose or something like that which I don't like touching my face while I'm out but I do have hand sanitizer all over my car like I have two bottles of hand sanitizer in my car and I have gloves I keep gloves inside my car and stuff like that but um yes we're I'm really trying to like really protect me and my family from this virus and I know I talk about the virus a lot on on some of my videos but it's good to get information out there and just keep pushing how um how good to keep everything safe including your family so that's why sometimes you'll hear me um saying it a lot in my video just to get that out there so people know that it's important for you to um wear your mask and also keep your hands washed and keep your hands sanitized like if you're not near water keep your hands sanitized and everything else and um this hand sanitizer that i have i got this back in march i had so many of them and this is um the germex germex is so good the hand sanitizer germex and then they were saying they had like a recall from another um another hand sanitizer that they had out there that was um shipped from somewhere i'm not for sure i'm not gonna get into that but they said that it was wasn't any good or whatever and i always look at the percentage of the um of the solution inside the hand sanitizer because i think um the lower the solution is the better it is that's why i heard on the news be, uh, once before that was like in march when i heard that and um germex is pretty good just um always look at the solution to see how much um alcohol it has in it that's what it was alcohol um i guess the less alcohol that's um is more potent if I'm saying that right so um yes this is what I use and I have other brands as well I just don't use um Germex I have other brands so you just don't have to 
pick up Germex because Germex you're probably not gonna really find it because everybody um, love Germex hand sanitizer and no this is not a promotion I was just showing you guys um, what type of hand sanitizers hand sanitizer that I have this is one of many that I have around the house and in my car and um, yes um, getting back to the lake I want to show you guys more um, footage of that so I'm going to try to get back my sister wanted to go back to the uh, safari so I'm thinking about doing a safari again when we went to the safari it wasn't that many animals like they were out but like the lions and the uh, tigers they were sleeping I don't know if they had just fed them or they were just like really lazy laying on their backs they wasn't really playing um, some videos that I have seen, um, they you see like the um, the animals are like really active, but I think it was so hot that day when we went. I think the animals was like really hot, and um, I don't know. They were like trying to be more so inside like the shady parts of wherever their habitat was, so they weren't like really close to the car. You did see like the ostrich walk up to the car. It was a baby ostrich, and he or she walked past the car and she stopped he or she stopped and looked at us and we were able to like take pictures of her so the safari is so fun guys if you haven't went yet take go take you and your family go um it's so fun and um like i said they had lions tigers bears they had the monkey um habitat as well and i was i don't know why but i was like i'm scared they want to get over this gate when we got there um the video the footage had cut off. Sorry, guys. The footage had cut off before we got to the um, the monkey um, habitat. But they were like, um, they were um, they were orangutans. Orangutans. That's what they were. They wasn't chimpanzees. They were orangutans. Orangutans. And when we got there, when they start seeing the cars like pulling close up to. They started like running back and forth and I was I was so scared. So what I did was I the side that we were on, we were close to the to like the gate where and they were like trying to get to the gate. So I moved so another car could get on the side that I because I was so scared. I was thinking they won't I said, Oh my god, they gonna attack they gonna attack everybody cars and stuff like that. But it's so fun, it's so exciting. The kids were so excited. Like it was it was so fun, guys. And um I just want to get back. I want to go back because I say maybe the next time we go back, the, the animals will be more livelier. Like I said, they probably fed the lions and the tigers because they were so um they were so t uh tired and um they were awake, but they were like chilling. Like they were like, okay, y'all see us by. Like, <laughs> but um the uh the bears, the brown bears, they were cool. Like they were um they were walking up and down the strip of their habitat and they were swimming i was like oh wow they were all in the water they were swimming they were um jumping inside the water I, I i was trying to get a lot of footage of that we had a baby brown bear that was playing with the ball my son took a picture of that and on my video i didn't i don't think you guys you probably noticed that um it was two different um cameras that i had to use because it, one of my cameras shut off in the middle of us going around the safari and then i had to um pick up on another camera so you it might on my video it probably looks kind of uh, funny but that's why i had to use two cameras because that's how long the safari was um like i said i want to get back there i want to um take my sister she want to go because she never um she never went to the safari before so uh i want to take her she want to go she's going to like we want to trail each other so we can have uh, so a lot of people can go and right now it's like only twenty one dollars to go to, um around the safari and you sit in your own car you're able to drive on your own pace um no you're not inside of a um a safari uh truck usually i think it is like the safari truck but now they're letting you just drive around um in your car um and we did see the safari trucks there and um they they weren't in use so uh, like I said, you could drive in your own car, drive on your own pace, and um, it was just fun, guys. So, I'm going to get, if we go back, I'm going to get more footage of that so you can see more than animals. And I'm going to make sure my cameras are charged so I can get a lot of footage because I don't want y'all to miss um, none of that. And um, 
I want you guys to continue to subscribe to my channel. Again, please subscribe to my channel. I have so much content that I want to get out to you guys. Um, cooking, pranks. Um, what else I have? Cooking pranks, muck, some mukbangs. I don't really do that many mukbangs. Uh, I have show you guys. I've been showing you guys my jewelry. Yes, I am doing jewelry. Um, but I don't have a website for that as of yet. I did tell you guys because I'm just doing it like a dry, a dry trial, just to see how it's going to do. I didn't want to put nothing out there where it's, if it's because it's not that big. It's just people I've been selling to. It's like people I know, like some of my employees that I work with and stuff like like people I have worked with um, family members and stuff like that so it's not really a I want to say a, it's not really a big business like I said it's a small business with how I said it before a small business so um no I I don't have a website for it yet and um I'm adding more things to my jewelry because I want to do like oils um, like I said on my video once um, before this one, I want to do like some type of oils. I did find some bottles at the Dollar Tree. Y'all um, guys, check that out on my vid on one of my videos. I showed that um, they have a lot of craft items inside the Dollar Tree. So check that out in case you're in interested in like doing a small business. And then I have um, I have all types of. Uh, of um, little things that I was able to buy from the dollar store to like pit with my um, business and you know it's working out it's working out good I had got a lot of compliments on like the boxes that I made and um, I just do things like this to the to encourage other people to do to do things because like I said it's nothing um, wrong trying to um, to provide to provide for your family because I know that it's like hard times right now jobs are closing people are losing their jobs people are losing their homes you know you could get out there go to like a dollar store and pick up little things and sell them you know what I'm saying if you gotta provide for you and your family you you don't have to sit home and 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 not um, do anything it's stuff out here that you can do and you can provide for your family and I know like I said times are hard right now and people are trying to um, get it as any mean necessary i understand and you know i ain't gonna knock nobody for their hustle whatever you gotta do to provide for your family that's what you gotta do you know what i'm saying so you know i'm just gonna leave this video here and i want you to i want you guys to like subscribe comment down below push that bell no notification button so you can see more of my videos and also share and again guys subscribe subscribe down below please subscribe bye guys